So the other way of adjusting the pressure is with the unloader valve. You can reduce or increase the pressure with the black valve on the side of the pump there. Uh, personally, I tend to leave that uh, closed on full pressure. So I'll either adjust the, the nozzles on the actual lance or I'll vary the, the revs on the engine. If you reduce the revs on the engine, of course, you're going to save some fuel as well. So probably just crack it back um, on, the, on the throttle control uh, if you need to reduce the pressure. But if you're looking to clean fast and efficiently, leave it on full pressure. So when you unbox the machine, the first thing you've got to do is put the wheels on. You've basically just got to slide the axle in and put the nut on the end. Uh, you've got big oversized wheels on these, which is great for maneuverability. Um, now, the engine comes with no oil in the engine. So it takes 1030 engine oil. It does ten, tell you in the manual and it also tells you on the label. So it's 1030 engine oil. And that goes in this dipstick on the side of the engine here. Now there is a little high and low measurement on it. So it wants to be right up to the top because the engine has actually got on that yellow cable there, that the yellow wire uh, is a low uh, oil sensor. So if you don't put enough oil in, it won't work make sure you fill it right to the top with engine oil. Now, the, the pump itself is already full of oil, but it actually has a little um, transport plug in. So when you, when you receive that, you need to discard the transport plug and screw in the breather plug. I've already screwed in the breather plug on here. Um, now, if you look on the, the, the side of the pump, there's a, a, a big sight glass and there's a line halfway. Um, so the actual oil uh, should be halfway and I say that should already be full uh, or full to the to the level halfway when you receive it but just double check that it should be on the halfway line. <laughs> 